going to be doing a comparison video comparing the Vanilla Co. Clean and Zero with the new Nooni Snowflake Cleanser. So let's go ahead and jump into the video. So to start off, I'm just going to give some brief information about each product to give each product a little moment to shine. So let's go ahead and start off with the Vanilla Co. Clean at Zero. Now I know I've talked about this product in the past because this is one of my favorite cleansing balms and it just works so well. It's one of Korea's cult favorites. Everyone seems to get along really well with this and I really haven't heard anything bad about this product in general. Now to talk about some of the unique ingredients the Vanilla Co. Clean It Zero has, it has papaya extracts which help to mildly exfoliate the skin. It helps get rid of dead skin cells and encourage cell turnover. It has vitamin C that helps brighten the skin and it has cherry extracts which help fight free radicals which tend to prematurely age the skin. The retail price of this can range anywhere from $16 to $25. I've seen it on various websites for different prices. The lowest being $16 which was on Peach and Lily that I could find and the highest was around $25 which was on several websites. So the cheapest I've seen it was $16 for the full size. Now talking about the Nooni Snowflake Cleanser, now Nooni is a new skincare brand underneath Mimi Box that Mimi Box has come out with and the reason why it's called a snowflake cleanser is because when you stick your spatula in it and start to pick up product, it kind of shreds similar to that of a snowflake, kind of like an icy almost. Now unique ingredients that this has is it has shea butter which helps moisturize the skin, citrus peel extracts which obviously help again with mildly exfoliating the skin, cell turnover, blah 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 and lotus flower extract which helps keep the skin supple. Now as far as the price goes on this, clearly I have a sample size, so if you purchase this from the Mimi Box website, you'll be getting a full size, and the full size retails for $16. Now I actually wanted to compare these two on my face at the same time so I could see the differences between the two right away. Now talking a little bit about the performances, they differed very slightly but I still did notice a couple of differences between the two. Notably the texture of the Snowflake Cleanser is a bit firmer than the texture of the Vanilla Co. Clean at Zero. Now while that might be good for some of you, personally I like my like cleansing sherbets to be a bit thinner and runny almost because when this hits the skin and it turns into an oil. It's a lot easier to rub into the skin, rub on my eye area, get into my eyelashes to help remove the makeup. It just doesn't feel like I'm pulling on my skin. So another slight difference that I did notice is that the Vanilla Co. still cleaned my makeup off more effectively than the Snowflake Cleanser. Now when I ran a cotton pad over my skin with a little bit of toner just to see what kind of makeup was left over after using this, there was a little bit less makeup on the side that I used the Vanilla Co. Clean at Zero versus the side that I use the Snowflake Cleanser. Now again, the differences were very, very, very slight. I do feel like the Vanilla Co. Clean at Zero still performs slightly better than the Snowflake Cleanser. Now another main difference that I definitely think is worth mentioning is that the Vanilla Co. Clean at Zero has several varieties that you can purchase them in. Because the Nuni Snowflake Cleanser is a brand new product, they obviously don't have as extensive as a product range as the Vanilla Co. Clean at Zero, but I do really like that the Vanilla Co. Clean at Zero comes in all different varieties. Just to go over the varieties really quick that they have, they do have four different versions. Of course they have the original which is designed for normal skin types and it also has a bit of moisturizing properties to it. They have their Radiance version which has Viatisin and Moringo Essence which helps brighten and whiten the skin tone. They have a Reservatrol version, whew, that word is so hard to pronounce, which has olive oil and grapeseed essence in it which helps with large pores and also aging skin. And last but not least, they have their Purity version which is formulated for sensitive skin so it doesn't have any added fragrance, oils, anything like that that is usually an irritant for those of you guys who have sensitive skin. Despite all these differences, I do still think that the Nuni Snowflake Cleanser is a good product, just a good standalone product, but if you were to give me the option of of having to buy the Vanilla Co. Clean at Zero or the Snowflake Cleanser, I would definitely still pick the Vanilla Co. Clean at Zero because this isn't different enough and it's not any better than this. So because the prices are very similar still, I would still go with the Vanilla Co. Clean at Zero. And like I said, I do like that I have the option to pick different types of versions for different types of skin types. 
Now, talking about the Snowflake Cleanser, I wanted to let you guys know that there's actually a secret sale going on, which I'll put the link down below if you're still interested in trying the Nuni Snowflake Cleanser, where you can get the full size of this and a sample size for $13. Also, another fun thing, if you guys want to go ahead and talk to me about cleansing oils or talk to me in general, there is going to be a Twitter chat held tonight at 6 p.m. Pacific time, so definitely make a date with me. Come join me on Twitter. Twitter, hashtag begin with Nuni and I'll put the hashtag down here below and you'll participate in a Twitter chat along with other several K beauty enthusiasts which I will list here as well so you guys can come and tweet and join us in a Twitter conversation and we can talk about cleansing oils or pretty much anything you guys want to talk about but if not you guys can just tweet me any normal time and I will try and tweet you guys back I read everything including your Instagram comments your comments on YouTube and I try my best to respond to all of them so I can keep in contact with you guys and that's pretty much it so I was in the middle of editing this video when I realized I forgot to even mention the giveaway when I was filming this earlier so I will be having a giveaway it will be the Carrie and Coco by Mimi box box I will have two of them they are $120 value inside is the Cleo kill black eyeliner plus makeup remover dr. G Vita ampule mist XO Mimi box pony shine easy glam 3 eyeshadow quad XO Mimi Box Mimi Puff Good All Moisture Barrier Cream Samples, Etude House Proof 10 Eye Primer, the Nuni Snowflake Full Size, which I just talked about, and the KNC Korean Beauty Secrets Book. So it's an awesome, awesome value. There's going to be two of them that I'm going to be giving away. So in order to be entered into the giveaway, you have to be a subscriber to this channel, following my Instagram and my Twitter account and comment down below just any type of comment that you guys want to say. And that's pretty much it. Mimi Box is shipping this out, so unfortunately this is only a giveaway within the United States. So I'm sorry for my international viewers, but I'm actually having a couple giveaways coming up, so hang tight for me. Sorry that this is shaky, I'm holding with my hand, but yeah, back to the video. So that was a quick rundown of the differences between the Clean It Zero and the new, new, the new Nuni Snowflake Cleanser. What a tongue twister. I hope this was helpful for you guys because this is coming out and it is going to be a product. I know you guys are going to be interested in hearing the differences with the Penelico Clean It Zero. So yeah, I hope to hear from you guys tonight. So as always, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, share with your friends and family, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!